welcome to my channel and i am subhash chandra if you are watching my videos and following my channel that clearly says that you are interested to improve your knowledge in piping design engineering but it's really important to understand one thing it's important to improve your knowledge in any particular area but at the same time you have to present your knowledge during the interviews as well so in order to get the result for your efforts and your hard work you have to present during your interview because interviews are the gateway for a better life so in this video i wanted to highlight some of the repeated mistakes we generally make from my own experience in all the interviews so if you can avoid these mistakes you uh, have more probability of getting the jobs and more probability of clearing any interviews because these are unconscious mistakes that we generally do actually so we take it things as granted so without uh, wasting your time let's get started let's start from the first uh, mistakes that i wanted to highlight see first mistake that i wanted to see is that not reading the job requirements see if you are going for any particular interview and if you have uh, applied for any job first of all you have to read through the job requirements of that particular job that's because that there will be some messages you can get it what type of industry and what kind of a requirement that they are expecting actually you will have an experience on some different areas but uh, you, just for the sake of getting job you might have applied actually but uh, that will not help you during the interview if you have read these uh, job requirements prior to going to an interview at least you can do some preparations so read the job requirements each line by line and and just check yourself whether you are familiar with this activity or not if you are not familiar at least you have a time to prepare yourself you can speak to your um, seniors you can speak to any experienced person you can read books you can find articles so this is the time that you have to understand uh, to utilize much better because once you lose an opportunity which means that you are losing a gateway for a better life see every interviews are a gateway for a better life so it's sooner you get and sooner your life will be better so what you have to do is that don't just give some uh, low value for this requirements so take the print out of this um, job criteria which you have already applied read line by line and ensure how much knowledge you have and if you don't have just put an effort to understand how much it is so that you can confidently present yourself in the interview so this this sort of a preparation that will helps uh, you during the interview to prepare unconsciously also actually because you have prepared so during the interviews you can the your body and your mind naturally uh, it emits such a knowledge during the interview so this is the first point that i wanted to highlight second is that over confident about what you actually know you might have some experience some good experience but that doesn't mean that you have to be over confident so i have seen people uh, who are fumbling for different types of flanges because they might have worked in particular company for a certain period of time they might have used only um the well neck flanges or they might have used only uh, the slip on flanges but if somebody ask you the different types of flanges they may not be able to say that's because they have become too much over confident about their work and not able to recall the different types of flanges and different types of fittings uh, which are generally available in the industry so it doesn't matter whether you have an experience or you don't have an experience but you have to recall everything go to all the materials you don't intimate you don't get an intimation of an interview within an hour right you at least you will get 24 hours or two days before so that is fairly a, a, a good time to go for the basic preparations you have to go through all the fitting details standard details and your experience and everything that you have uh, gone through in the past years don't ever be over confident that for that you have, you will pay a heavy price uh, at least once in your lifetime so Uh, be humble and try to recall everything because once you recall uh, you can uh, refresh your mind right so uh, re always recalling will uh, help you to uh, refresh what you have read and you can uh, bring lot of clarity into your subject so this is the second point and the third point that i wanted to make is that not making enough preparation for some unknown terms that you have mentioned in your cv uh, what's uh, generally happening is that and people used to copy terms either from internet or from the your uh, friend cv or colleague cv or here on there okay so sometimes they uh, end up copying something which they haven't experienced or something which they haven't 
uh, have no knowledge about it. See, you if you have any such term that you have mentioned in your CV and you are not in a position to remove that term actually, you have to have some knowledge. For that, you have to read through your CV 100%. Go word by word and check whether you have this, you have a knowledge of particular term or not. For example, let's take a data sheet. Most of the people mention data sheet, but only I know only 10 to 20 percent people in the piping design industry prepare data sheet. Nobody and the remaining 80 percent people don't prepare data sheet. They don't uh, understand also. They simply copy this term. But during the interview, if somebody asks you the process of making data sheet, they fumble. That's because they don't have enough idea. So what you have to do is that you have to speak to the person who actually does the data sheet and take the actual knowledge. Though you uh, don't have an actual working experience during an interview you can say I have a th theoretical knowledge because I don't get an opportunity to work in real life uh, experience I mean a real job actually but you know the um, the procedures to prepare the data sheet I am familiar with the data sheet I know where to collect the inputs and what to make um, out of it actually and how to deliver all this you can take for that you have to have a self preparation okay you have to know whether what are the unknown terms that you have mentioned accordingly you can prepare if you go without preparation to an interview if you are lucky you will not be asked if you are unlucky you will be asked for sure so all this mistake that i have done in my life mentioning about the plot plan during my initial career unknowingly i mentioned about plot plan but Later, I came to know that plot plan, it's a different subject that only 10% of the in, uh, companies in the world are making because plot plans are, uh, I would say it's, it's, it's far more complex than making a piping design. <clears throat> People think that plot plan is all about equipment uh, layout, but it's not the, the actual way. Plot plan is about entire layout designing. So that needs a different level of expertise. <coughs> excuse me so this is about it if you do not know any term at least gather some knowledge at least uh, prepare some sort of an, uh, a basic idea about it and during interview genuinely you say that that uh, you haven't received uh, got an opportunity to work in real time but you know the process of working so over a period of time you will be able to improve so that gives some sort of a confidence to the interviewer at least you are prepared right so you are not just fumbling for the words and without knowing anything so this is the other point okay and the fourth point that i would like to give is that giving too much of details during the interview for example uh, and for one example that i would tell you is that uh, if somebody asks you about uh, a flanges a different types of flanges you just name the different types of flanges so but at the same time if somebody asks you about what are the flanges that you have used in your project uh, you have to limit up to the uh, point where you actually have worked actually uh, there are cases people are mentioning RTJ flanges also. So if you have not worked in one case, uh, it happened to me actually. So uh, the, this particular candidate has um, mentioned unknowingly without his knowledge that he has worked in RTJ flange. But when we prompted and he said no, he do not know anything about RTJ flange. So uh, providing too much details will uh, put you in trouble. Uh, if somebody asks you about a particular gaskets uh, or fittings actually, you know only what you uh, tell only what you know actually. If you say something you do not know, you should have some knowledge only then you can tell. That is what I have told in the previous uh, point also. If you are saying something which you do not know, you will be caught. So you have to have a, at least a minimum preparation, some idea about what you are speaking actually. So. If you are giving too much of um, details, what happens is that and the interviewer will pick some term or something from your point and he will keep on questioning you. If somebody asks you about uh, piping for um, uh, vessels and if you start listing no, I have done distillation column piping, then you will be caught. Distillation column piping is the most complex piping and the number of columns in, um, uh, in a plant will be far lesser than the number of other pressure vessels. So if you say that I have done distillation column, you will be directly caught actually. So you have to sensibly say that no, I have done um, uh, column pipings, but not uh, uh, tall uh, columns. Maybe the columns which are 5 to 6 meter or maybe maximum of 8 to 10 meter. So that will not be called as a distillation column. So distillation columns are nearly 50 to 60 meter height actually. So you have to limit the details that you are producing with respect to what has been asked. Don't provide 
uh, too much detail of what has been asked actually so that you can avoid uh, being in uh, what you call getting into trouble so this will save you so this is another point that i want to highlight and the last point is that not saying no as a piping design engineer when you're going for any interview you should know where to say yes and where to say no imagine uh, during the interview and uh, the interviewer uh, wanted to understand whether you have an any stress analysis background you have not mentioned in cv but at the same time uh, he simply wanted to understand whether you know any background or not see if you are really confident you say yes but if you are not confident confidently say no because you can mention that no my nature of work doesn't support me to understand what the other side is i am so occupied with the list of activities that i have um, uh, that i have to deliver so i don't have any idea <clears throat> but i am uh, i am a candidate who are interested to learn different disciplines that i will learn in my future in order to improve my career so likewise you can say but at the same time if you say no no i have i know this and all then the interviewer would ask more questions that you may not be able to answer so you have to say yes and no wherever it is applicable don't uh, bother to say no it doesn't matter that if you say no you will be rejected no it's not like that but if you say yes and give a wrong reply then you will be rejected so it works in the vice versa so as a design engineer you have to have a clarity in mind if you don't have a clarity in mind to say yes and no for the things that has been asked actually you will be under trouble and your cv will i mean your profile will not be uh, chosen further those profile will be chosen who has a better clarity in a mind actually so these are the common mistakes we unconsciously do see if you repeatedly do this mistakes you are losing more opportunities because i said every interview is an opportunity for a better life so sooner you get sooner your life will be better actually so try to avoid these mistakes in the coming up interviews so that you can see some betterment in your future thank you so much for watching my video i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra